Hi. So quite a while ago, I made a video on how to have a functional security camera like the one up there that is actually recording to a screen or multiple screens in this case within the world of the game. That video was for Godot 3.5, I think. So I figured it's a good time now to update it to Godot 4, 4.1 is the current stable version. And I think the UI will stay unchanged, at least for the most part for a while, so might as well. Right, so let's jump into it and take a look on how all of this works. Now this does have some uh, performance cost, of course, because we do have multiple cameras now in the world and there's some extra rendering to screens going on. I would generally recommend to use features like that sparingly, but just to show how it works, I'm gonna add a second viewport now to implement like basically a copy of this. Now you might notice down here, we do have an error thrown right now. This is a thing in the current version of Godot 4 with the uh, sub viewports that happens in many cases. It doesn't do anything. You can pretty much ignore it. And chances are this is gonna go away in a future version. Either that or there will be a clean workaround. Currently there isn't anything reliable. As far as this goes, each of these monitors are basically just a simple mesh and I put a sprite 3D into them. Uh, which means that each sprite 3D can use a different modulate to uh, color it a bit or you can uh, turn it on and off if you want a flicker effect or you can even apply shaders to it. This one here has a bit of a shader that probably isn't very performant. I just quickly threw together but there's a lot of options here. Now, how do we do this? First of all, let's make another sub viewport. I will put it a bit further up so we don't lose track of it. So sub viewport two is what we'll be working with because uh, I already have the first one. And in it, we want the uh, a camera like this as a mesh, just for decoration and to give us something to look at. Uh, so let's take this mesh in here. And there we go. Move it, let's say, to the opposite corner. I might actually disable a lot of this stuff. You know, it's not really needed right now. Just um, making my rendering slower with OBS. Okay, let's turn this camera around. Uh, it's not turning very well. That's a bit awkward. It's fine. Um, before I do that, actually, let me just add a camera 3D in it. So this is the thing that actually records the uh, mesh, just visual, it doesn't do anything. Make it point roughly in the correct direction. It's currently a bit much. Move it maybe so it doesn't try to record itself. Something like that, roughly. Let's turn it. That's what this camera currently sees. Seems okay. Doesn't have to be like perfectly aligned, but just good to give us an idea of what this camera should be recording. Okay. So now we need a monitor. We will need something to render this to, right? Um, to do that, first of all, I'm going to reduce the rendering quality of the sub viewport. It, uh, I'm gonna go with a tenth of uh, in each direction of um, 1920 by 1080 just because it's uh, simple. So 192 by 108. Just uh, significantly reduced, but gives us a um, an idea of what a simplified uh, HD camera might look like. Now give us a Monitor, again, just a mesh, doesn't do anything yet. There we go. Move it over here. Um, where am I gonna put this? Actually, I'm gonna put it behind the camera so it doesn't try to render itself right now. And give me the coordinates and rotate it by 180. Gives us a good, easy thing to start with. Add a sprite 3D to it. Move the sprite 3D slightly forward. Not much, just a little bit. That's probably fine. 
Uh, we'll see. So, we need to give the sprite 3D a texture. That's basically gonna be rendered on top of the monitor. I'm just gonna select this here, and the first option already is New Viewport Texture, which means we can grab the image from a viewport. Our sub viewport 2 here, we can use. Let's grab this. And of course, it's uh, never at the proper angle. But that's fine, we can rotate it uh, by 90 degrees. Um, it's a bit large. Let's scale it down. 0.3 ish. 0.3 here too. Uh, 0.3 here doesn't quite work, but we can easily stretch it a little. Let's just do that. Doesn't have to fit perfectly, just give an idea of what it should look like, right? Let's go in game and see what this does right now. So we can turn around here, we have this camera, and as we're approaching, we can see ourselves moving, waving right there in the monitor. So this is actually quite simple. Um, there's one more thing. I had this multi monitor thing over there. Let's just simplify this and uh, show how we would do this on here. Now on here, there's the option. Whoop, it, okay, I have a massive zoom factor, don't I? Yeah, 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 yeah. No wonder this was moving so weirdly. Okay, so here we basically have this monitor. We can zoom in on it. How do we do that? Um, we can go not with scale, but with the um, sprites region. We can enable the region. And then we can say the width should be, well, we had a three by three over there. So 192 over three, 108 over three. We have like that. That's our size. That means our scale needs to be a bit um, normal again. Times three, times three. So that's roughly what it would look like because it's looking at something quite far away. And this is currently the center. Now we can give this an offset, of course, so it l uh, we can see different parts of it here in the region. We have X and Y starting coordinate. So we can kind of select which area we actually want to show. So currently we're just looking at the far away player. And if we combine a bunch of these, we basically, we basically end up with something like what we have over here. A massive multi-monitor thing where each one just records or shows like a section instead of everything. And yeah, since each of them can be modulated or shaded or whatever, there's a lot of ways you can use this. Just for fun, I'd like to turn this camera and record the monitors. Let's see. Whip. I see it moving. Ooh, that's very funny. So yeah, a lot of things you can do here. Play around with it a bit, see if you can come up with some other good uses for making use of the viewport um, sprite. And that's it for this video. Bye!